The concepts of populations, parameters, and variables are central to making statistical inferences. In this video, I'll explain what they are and provide some examples. You might have heard that in an election, people are more likely to vote for the taller candidates. So you might ask the research question, are taller candidates more likely to win elections? Now, before jumping in, it's going to be important to clarify exactly what it is you're trying to measure to answer this research question. To start, what do you want to measure something about? Are you interested in all elections, all candidates, all voters, something else? Take a moment to think about what exactly you're interested in and how this would affect the way you go about answering the question. Probably the most straightforward option is going to be focusing on the elections. And if we're focusing on all elections, then the number we want to compute is the percent of all elections that are won by the taller candidate. Now, candidates for political offices usually don't submit their vital statistics, so we don't have a list of the heights of all the political candidates. So we'd need to look at a subset of the elections, say, 100 elections in the United States, and in each election would record whether or not the taller candidate won. And then we'd compute the percent of the 100 elections that were won by the taller candidate. These decisions provide structure to the investigation of the research question, and they each have a name. The population, parameter, sample, variable, and statistic. To clarify what each of these terms means, let's look at some definitions. The population is the group of people, objects, events, or processes about which we want to draw a conclusion. The parameter is the number we want to estimate in the population. This is what we really care about. We want to know something about the entire population, but we rarely have the resources to actually survey the entire population to directly measure the parameter. Instead, we can only estimate its value. The sample is the subset of the population from which we actually collect data. The variable is the value we measure for each element of the sample. The statistic is the number we compute for the sample. It is usually a percentage or an average, but it can be other numerical measures too. We use the statistic to estimate the value of the parameter. Let's look at a couple of examples. Researchers have wondered whether babies have a sense of morality. To investigate this, the researchers showed a baby, a dog, and two cat puppets playing with a ball. One cat would return the ball, and the other cat would steal it. Then the babies were given a choice about which cat they wanted to play with. Take a moment to think about what the population, parameter, sample, variable, and statistic are. In this scenario, the population would be all babies, and the parameter would be the percent of all babies who would choose the nice cat. Since the researchers couldn't do this experiment with all babies, they used a sample, let's say, of 25 babies. What they measured about each baby was whether or not the baby chose the nice cat, and then they computed the percent of the 25 babies who chose the nice cat. Let's look at another example. Many farmers want to know whether cloud seeding increases rainfall, that is, whether you can scatter some chemicals from a plane into clouds and produce rain. To test this, researchers in Florida went to Orlando for a week, tried seeding each cloud with silver iodide, measured the amount of rainfall from each cloud, and compared that to prior data about rainfall. Take a moment to think about what the population parameter sample variable and statistic might be. In this scenario, the population would be all clouds, and the parameter would be the mean amount of rain that falls from all clouds. The sample would be all clouds over Orlando during the one-week period of the study. The researchers measured the amount of rain produced by each cloud and computed the mean, or average, amount of rain from the sampled clouds. Let's look at one more example. Most of us experience pain at some point, and there are many drugs available to help treat the pain. So we might want to know which drug reduces pain more. To investigate this, the researchers recruited 56 people who experienced chronic pain and took either acetaminophen or ibuprofen. 
had them rate their pain on a scale of 1 to 10, let them take their preferred pain medication, and then measured the pain again to compute the change in their pain level. Take a moment to think about what the population parameter sample variable and statistic would be. In this scenario, there are actually two populations. The first population is all people who use acetaminophen for pain relief, and the second is all people who use ibuprofen. In one sense, there are also two parameters, the mean pain reduction for acetaminophen users and the mean pain reduction for ibuprofen users. But it turns out it will be more powerful for us to look at a single number rather than two. So we combine these into what's called a compound parameter by subtracting the two means. So the compound parameter is the difference in mean pain reduction between the two groups. So if this is positive, then acetaminophen reduces pain more than ibuprofen. And if it is negative, ibuprofen reduces pain more than acetaminophen. Like with the populations, there are going to be two samples, the 30 people who use acetaminophen and the 26 people who use ibuprofen. The variable is what we measure about each person in the sample. In this case, the change in pain level. Like with the parameter, there will be a compound statistic where we take the mean change in pain level in sample 1 and subtract the mean change in pain level in sample 2. Let's take a look back at what we've seen. We looked at the concepts of population parameter, sample variable, and statistic. Now, we don't care about just the 25 babies or the 56 people with pain. We care about all babies and all people with pain. In other words, our goal is to determine the value of the parameter in the population. Since we can rarely survey the entire population, we use the sample and statistic to make an estimate. And the goal of inferential statistics is about developing techniques to understand how precisely we can make that estimation.